All right, Facebook. Uh, I don't know what that was. That was just the enemy trying to stop me from doing because it just clicked off. But I'm back on live, and so so we're all good. So I'm um, we'll going back in the spirit and see if there's any more uh, healing that needs to come forth. Okay, the Holy Ghost is showing me the right knee down through the shin. The right knee down through the shin. So take your right hand and put it on your knee. And say, in the name of Jesus, I command healing from my knee to my shin. Say, I command my knee down to my shin to be 100% whole. I command my bones, my joints, my ligaments, my blood vessels, uh, everything to be 100% whole from my knee through my shin. And I command... Uh, strength in my knee and my shin so I can rise up and walk. So I can get up and walk, okay? So command strength, like we just read in the book of Acts, for your knee and your shin so you can get up and walk. Command it in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Okay, this is the second time I've gotten this. Okay, it's the second time I've gotten this one. Holy Ghost is telling me that somebody going to get married. <laughs> so whoever is out there listening to me now, those of you that have been praying for a spouse and waiting on a spouse and believing for a spouse, it's coming. He or she is coming and you about to get married. Wedding bell's about to ring in your life. Okay, Brother Native says me, amen. Wedding bell's about to ring in your life. So let me tell you what to do. If the Lord is telling you that your spouse is coming, what you're supposed to do is ask him to prepare you for the marriage. Do not spend all your time, your energy, and your money preparing for the wedding. That's worldly. Uh, can I get a new? I don't know, Sally. We can't be asking. <laughs> I'll pray about that, but I can't get you no word on that. You might have to deal with the spouse you've got. Uh, but whenever the Lord is telling you that a spouse is coming, now I'm assuming that means you're married now. If you mean a new spouse, you want... Somebody new to come in your life, we can pray about that. But anyway, you have to ask the Lord to prepare you for the person that's coming because the worldly way is to just prepare for the wedding. And there's nothing wrong with preparing for your wedding, but you're not supposed to put all that time and energy and money into the ceremony. You have to ask God to prepare you for the marriage. You have to ask the one that invented marriage to prepare you for marriage. So if the Holy Ghost gives a word that wedding bell's about to ring and a spouse is coming, then your prayer needs to be, Lord, prepare me to be a husband. Lord, prepare me to be a wife. Okay? All right. All right, prophetic word. Um, Amen. Amen. Sally said, God bless Brooklyn native. That's right. Prophetic word. For behold, my people, the days come and now are, and the time comes and now is, yea and verily, where you walk in the time of miracles. You walk in the time of prophetic miracles, financial miracles, physical healing miracles. I expect you to walk by faith and not by sight. I expect you to believe me as I have given you instruction. I expect you to walk up to this level, for I desire to use you in the earth to be carriers of my glory, carriers of my word, and carriers of my spirit, so that when people meet you, they can see my power in you, and through that they will believe on me, and come into a saving faith of me, and know me, and enter into my kingdom. So let me use you in the area of miracles. Believe for them, walk in them, and let them manifest, and be sure to give me the glory, and tell everybody you know that is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that makes the miracles possible, says the Spirit of the living God. Amen and amen. So, I received that word. That's awesome. The Lord is saying he wants us to walk in this. Remember I told you, first principle is no if. So the Lord said he wants us to walk in this level of miracles. So now, that should have got rid of your if. There's no if. We're supposed to walk in this level of miracles like we read in the scriptures. So be sure to practice those principles the four principles I give you all week long and begin to build up your muscles uh, of faith in that area so the power of God can manifest so we can be a witness so people that don't know Jesus can see Jesus in us and want to get to know him and get saved because they saw his power manifest in us. 
Okay, the devil is a liar. He tried to cut my Facebook off, but I'm still here and I'm still prophesying the word because we need it and we need that edification. So I receive it. I'm excited. I'm going to do exactly what I'm telling you to do. A confirmation, amen. And I'm doing what I'm telling you to do uh, so I can walk an even higher level. And uh, amen. I'm excited. Okay, so uh, I will be on same time next Sunday. 2.30 p.m. Central uh, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook Live, Periscope, and then also I upload the video to YouTube so you can watch the replay on uh, YouTube once I get it uploaded about an hour from now. It'll be up. But you can watch on Facebook Live, watch on Periscope, and watch on YouTube. Okay? Now, if you want to sow into my ministry, uh, Bishop Jakes always says, Never go to a table and eat and burp and then get up and leave. So if you wanted to sow into my ministry, then I, um, what's my name on Facebook? It's DT2 dash Prophet David Taylor. On Facebook, it's DT2, those are my initials, David Taylor, the second, DT, the number two dash Prophet David Taylor. That's how to find me on Facebook. But if you want to find me anywhere online, look up hashtag PDT. Look up hashtag PDT, that stands for Prophet David Taylor, and that's the fastest way to find my stuff anywhere online. Because I have a website too, prophetdavidtaylor.org, where I talk about you know basic prophetic stuff as well and post these videos and all that. So yeah, so uh, if you want to sow into my ministry, uh, if you don't want to just eat, come and receive and burp and get up and walk away, but you want to bless the man of God, remember, whenever you sow into a ministry, the mantle of that ministry, whenever you become a partner, the mantle of that ministry falls on you. So whatever gifts you see manifest in me, when you sow into my ministry financially, that mantle falls on you. That's how you get the mantle of anyone that you listen to as you sow and support their ministry financially. Okay? So I have a Zelle. My Zelle is prophetdavidtaylor at gmail.com. P-R-O-P-H-E-T-D-A-V-I-D-T-A-Y-L-O-R at gmail.com if you want to sow into my ministry and uh, support me financially. So God bless you. Thank you very much. You hear me say it every week. I count it as an honor and a privilege to be used by God because God don't need me. God gives all of us an opportunity to love him and serve him. And peace, God bless you, to love him and serve him and be a part of his kingdom. It's an opportunity not to waste your life. Serving God and serving in his kingdom is an opportunity not to waste your life, but to build up rewards both in this life and unto life eternal in the next life. Because God don't need me for nothing. So it's an opportunity and a privilege and an honor for me to be used by God through the prophetic. So God bless you. I will see you uh, same time uh, next week, Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then second Thursday next month in August for No More Genies. Please like and share this video. Because whenever God releases a prophetic word, we want to share it with as many saints as possible so they can get the blessing from it as well. So please like and share this video. Okay? Thank you. God bless. And I will see you next time.